recording, so let's go ahead and um, we will turn the power off and we will unplug the cable like I said. Let's go ahead and disconnect our power pin. We will remo whoops, remove the GPU bracket. Now all graphics cards are held in with these right here in the back. So let's just unscrew it. All right, and then it'll just pull loose like that. We'll just set that down. This is the, the little switch right here that I was talking about. You have to have that open and able to put the card in, and then once you put it down, it'll clip. But you can't get the card out unless you open that clip, so that's very important to do. So there is the 1050 Ti card. It's in excellent shape. You can tell I've had this card in here for uh, over a year. I pulled it out. I did not clean it. It sat in a box for maybe a few months and I put it back in the system for a couple of weeks. Well, you see how clean it looks, right? That's because of good airflow. I have phenomenal airflow in my case and because of that, my components stay quite clean. No major dust buildup anywhere on it. So, alrighty, we're gonna set that down. We're gonna take this one. Wow, this card feels just so much heavier. And then look at it compared to that one. It's just it's significantly bigger. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this box open. Alrighty, it's very important, guys. Anytime you get PC hardware, you want to keep the boxes, okay? Because if you ever need to take the part out, you'll have a way of keeping it safe. And if you ever need to travel with it, you'll have a way of keeping it safe. And if you ever sell it again, you'll have the box. And if you have the box, generally, you can charge a little bit more for that graphics or for that part because you have the box. Okay. Put it in like so. And we will put that back in like that. Put the CD, the driver back on top. Put the graphics manual back on top. Close the box up and we will check this into my inventory so that way I know everything that I got all right and we will just oh sorry bunny I didn't see you down there baby hi want to say hi want to say hi to the group say hi bun bun old fat fluffy thing and we just want to give it a good little click and a push Let's get that sensor out of the way. I don't want that in the way of anything right now. Because we just need to kind of get it in place. Alright, I think we are fully seated. Yes, we are. I can see that we are fully seated. And that my little, little clip down there is in the full upright position um, let's just kind of line it up and get it screwed in management too much considering that this whole machine um, in about a month is going to be completely tore down and uh, upgraded and completely cleaned and a bunch of other craziness that's going to take place with it but let's go ahead and get the which way does it go it only goes in here one way which is a good thing it's keyed so you're only going to be able to put these connectors in one way and only one way so don't worry about that if you screw that up um, so yes like that 
that goes like that okay um, I do need to put the sensor back in its little spot so read okay so let's uh, let's set the system back up turn it on and see what happens okay well that's the reset flip the switch RGB came on alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button all right both fans came on the MS light oh yeah very beautiful build loving it loving it all right let's put the panel on when I originally got this system it was a Ryzen 3 with an A320 motherboard and a 1050 at 8 gigs. Well, then we upgraded the system to a Ryzen 5, um, a Strix B350 motherboard, and we went to 16 gigs of RAM. Well, now we've done it one more time. We upgraded the graphics card from the 1050 to a 1060 3 gig. That wasn't enough for us. So we had to step up our game. So now we are running the 1070, the Ryzen 5 1600. We have two SSDs in there, both 240 gigs in RAID. We have uh, an NVMe SSD at the top right there. That's our boot drive. 16 gigs of RGB. And now a 1078 gig card. So the next thing to upgrade will be the motherboard. Look at our sensor gauges. Our sensor gauges are working great. The system is staying nice and cool. So everything looks great. Love it. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you guys be cool. See y'all next time.